Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to another video on ForgottenWeapons.com. I'm Ian McCollum, and I'm here today at Morphe's taking a look at a Colt M16A1 H-Bar LMG. It's an awful lot of acronyms. <laughs> this is a heavy barreled version of the M16A1, so it has a full 20 inch barrel, just like the standard rifle, but it is a large diameter, heavy profile barrel, and the gun has been equipped with essentially, well, literally, an M60 bipod. Now this is a pattern that Colt produced, not quite experimentally, but Colt produced this for foreign export sales. The idea was they would really like to sell a whole package of small arms to a country whose military is buying stuff from Colt. The AR-15 or M16 rifle is sort of the obvious uh, best seller, but what they'd really like to do is package that together with some other guns that kind of go along with it. So, you know, if you're going to buy a whole bunch of rifles for your infantry, why not get them a light machine gun that's parts compatible and works the same way, controls are the same? Think of this as the RPK version of the M16 family. So let's take a quick look at a few of the details on here. Let's start by taking a look at the markings here. They're a little bit faint uh, through the parkerizing, but uh, Colt M16 A1, caliber 5.56, and the serial number, I don't know if you can read it very well there, the serial number is 9.3 million and change, which is exactly what we would expect for this pattern of rifle. Colt set aside the 9 million serial number range for basically experimental and export contract guns. And that serial number, these, these were used in the 1970s and 1980s. My guess offhand is that that number is going to date this thing somewhere around 1979 or 1980. There are the rest of our Colt markings, again kind of difficult to see through the parkerizing. And of course it has a three position selector switch, as you would expect for something that is intended for the LMG role. And there are a couple markings on the barrel, it's a chrome lined bore, like you can see there. This has a bunch of features from the early M16A1, so note things like the cylindrical handguard retaining ring, the lack of a deflector right there, the forward assist button is a teardrop shape instead of the, the round button, and of course we've got basic A1 sights. The interesting bit of course is up here at the front, so um, we have a plastic muzzle cap on there, largely because it's still got the original muzzle paper or a barrel, the bore paper in there, which I didn't want to take out, so we'll just leave that covered by the muzzle cap. Uh, and what they did for the bipod was literally just use an M60 bipod. So they're M60 legs and an M60 um, base here. What Colt did was machine a sleeve to go on the barrel right there, and you can see that it's cross pinned onto the barrel right there. And then, so this goes on first, then the bipod sleeves, bipod adapter, sleeves onto that, and the whole thing is simply held in place by the flash hider and its compression washer. So if you take the flash hider off, you can slide the bipod right off the front of the barrel. This has a little bit of pivot, not too much, but a little bit, and of course you deploy the legs by pulling them back and flipping them down. We still have a bayonet lug here on the rifle, although with the bipod flange in there, there's no way you could actually use a bipod, but there wasn't any particular reason to take the effort to cut off the bayonet lug. I'm sure Colt sold a few of these, but they never made any substantial contracts for them. They were never able to convince any significant military force to purchase these guys along with standard M16 pattern rifles. So I know some of them were put together by the Colt Custom Shop over the years, and a few of them have come out into the collector's market including this one. So it is registered of course, it's a fully transferable NFA piece, and it's beautiful. It looks like it has really, I mean, it's been fired, but it's never been abused, never really been used much. So uh, a very cool example of something that Colt had hoped to sell to people that didn't really work out for them. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video, thanks for watching.